Welcome back to the workshop. This is Tyler from Iron River Armory. Today we're starting a new project. It's the Cat's Paw Dagger from Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon. Instead of Valerian steel, we'll be making the dagger out of 15 N20 carbon steel, and the whole handle will be resin 3D printed. All right, let's get started. We start on SolidWorks, tracing out the blade from a pitcher. We then extrude the blade and do the same process for the handle. The handle is made from five parts and will be epoxied together on the blade. We then put the SolidWorks file into Fusion 360 to write code for the CNC machine. start cleaning up the knife and getting all the molten metal that came from the CNC plasma cutter. We're going to start with the contact wheel to grind down the surface of the knife blade. I then spray paint the blade and scribe in a half inch line to serve as a guide for the bevel grinding. We want the bevel to be about 10 degrees so we set the backstop to about 85 degrees and the grinding jig to about 75 degrees to make a difference of 10 degrees total. I use the blue lime spray paint as a guide for my plunge line. I line it up to the edge of the belt to be consistent. I then grind in a steep secondary bevel to serve as the cutting edge of the blade. Time to get hot. We start by normalizing the knife to soften the metal before quenching. We do a cycle of 15 minutes at 1650 degrees and let cool. We do the same thing at 1500 degrees and then at 1350 degrees. We then do the quench in canola oil at 1480 degrees. And then I cramp my hands with hours of hand sanding. I then polish the final edge and sharpen. We 
3D printing the whole handle out of resin. To get the gold color on the handle, we'll be mixing three pigments to match the color of the dagger in the shell. Then I'll be using a black pigment for the inner part of the handle, then a red pigment with clear resin for the gem that's on the two sides of the handle. <laughs> This took way more pigment solution than I thought, almost five vials of each color. You must carefully remove the parts from the supports. I broke three of these before getting the final one. I then sand each part and epoxy them together. This has been one of the most complicated builds I've done with all the 3D printing, but it has become one of my favorites.